Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel, as always, on Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. So we're doing another, just another versus thing, just another comparison thing, just another evolution thing, just whatever you want to call it. And today our special guest is Hot Rod. Yeah. So we're going to look at G1 Hot Rod. This is the Target Master one. Yay. Awesome, awesome. Classics or Hinke. This is the Hinke one because it's got some nice shiny little metallic paint right there. Really nicely done. So that is cool. We're going to take a look at Tide Returns. Hot Rod as well. A little Headmaster thing going on. Even though he never was a Headmaster. But that's what that gimmick was. And the 86 movie one. Woo! This one's so good. So good. All right, awesome, awesome. Love doing this thing. Basically, just like a blast from the past, you get to look at you know the evolution of Hot Rod from G1 to now. So I really like doing this stuff. Let's get right to it. That's what you came for, yeah. Well, all right, folks. There is Hot Rod in his alt mode in that little futuristic kind of race car kind of thing going on. So let's take a look at G1. He's up first, and this is the Target Master. The uh, Target Master is named Firebolt. Well, you can just ride dirty up there and pew, pew, pew. Don't really have long barrels or anything like that. But you can take them off. And he just transforms like that. Nice red paint on the face. That's about it. Not, you know, not a lot to him. But here is Hot Rod in his G1 incarnation. There you go. Nice sticker right there. Little Autobot symbol. Kind of wear it down there. Things going to... Stickers ain't too bad. Nice uh, chrome. For the exhaust pops and everything. And shoot fire. Phew. Rubber tires. That's awesome. You don't see that very much often. Nice chrome right here for the motor. Nice translucent blue right there for the window. You got the little rope sign, but I don't think it's working. <laughs> so underneath. Hey, how you doing? Nice stickers in the back. You got the nice spoiler. It does roll just fine. Awesome, it's awesome. Well, there you go. Not much to them. We got some nice uh, orange plastic right here for the headlights. So pretty cool. Neato Petito. So there you go. That is the G1 Hot Rod, the uh, Target Master. Then up next, a really, really nice one. This is the uh, Classics version of Hot Rod, but this is the Hinke. This is the Japanese version. So it's got the nice uh, chromed out spoiler, nice stickers, really nice bright, and got some paint right here as well. Looks good. The motor, silver painted, nicely done. Got the flames on the side as well, nice gold flames, which is really good. My sticker right there is kind of wearing out a little bit. Then you got the silver for the rims and silver for the pipes as well. Looks very good. And you got the nice uh, blast effect, which is cool. Not a lot of stuff came with blast effects back in the day, but you can take this off. This is basically his gun, and it does shoot out, so just like you saw that, a little premature. And nicely done, nice translucent blue, and it's covered in white. And then you got this weapon, silver paint right there. Like I said, it can go right here, and you can have a little blast effect. That's really cool. Nice blue for the uh, windows. Looks really good. In the back, you got some red for the tail lights. Nicely done. I love that chromed out spoiler underneath. Looks pretty clean. This roll is just fine as well. Looks good. I love that. The front looks really nice. This is a good one. I, I, this was a good mold. I always like this mode. Or mold and everything. So, nicely done. So, that is the classic version or Hinke for a Hot Rod. All right. So, you go look at the Titan Returns. And once again, so, nice paint. Uh, it's got some kind of a peach kind of oranges right there for the headlights and for the flame effects a nice autobot symbol painted silver for the um, kind of the motor nice translucent blue and then you can open this up I think you can open this up and a little bit of sculpt work in there not much but you can put any Titan returns or Titan masters in there if you want to no paint on the rims and this is a uh, plastic no paint on there now this is painted yellow the spoilers well, it looks really good and you got the back, you got a little uh, exhaust pipe right there, and also right there. Underneath, you know, cleans up decent. And then you got these little ports right up here too, and you can put, you can 
<laughs> have your little Titan Masters right on there if you want to. Whee! So you can put them on each side. I think this is probably the weakest one out of them. So, but there you go. That is the Titan Returns uh, Hot Rod. Now let's take a look at the Studio Series 86 movie version. And man, I've already done a review on this one and he is so much fun. Now he does come with a, a saw blade. I didn't bring that out. But he comes with a matrix and a kind of a blast effect for this. And you can um, hold the matrix like that and let's open it up. That is sweet. That translucent blue right there. And it comes with some blast effects as well. Come kind of on, nice light blue flame. Looks good. And he comes with two weapons as well, like the original G1 does. And they are painted silver. They're, both of them are different. And that's nicely done. Some sculpt work and all painted silver. Looks good. And I love, love this car mode. It looks really good. I like the, the Hinke one as well, too. Nice orange paint, once again, for the headlights. The flame effects, all that paint right there looks good. The silver for the motor. This is painted up here. You got silver for the rims. Also for the exhaust pipes, that's painted silver. Now this is plastic. Would have been cool if they would have painted this yellow. That would have been nice, but looks good. Um, I wish that kind of was painted maybe red to match in with that. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Nice orange paint right there. Underneath, cleans up pretty good. In the back, you got the legs hanging out. But little gap issues in here, here and there, like over here. Got a little gap itch right there and a little back there. But it kind of sits, mine sits pretty flush with it. So it's not too bad. But this world's just fine. Now he is a lot smaller than all the other ones. He's about the size of the G1 a little bit, but the G1's a little taller, I think, too. But it's a beautiful car mode. I love it. I love that one, Hinkie, and I love the G1. Time returns is fine. Kind of just looks like a older version of all three of these <laughs> kind of like that it's kind of like the grandpa of the hot rods and everything but love all the accessories that comes with it too very nicely done love that a6 studio series one all right there you go that is the alt mode for hot rod for g1 hinke top returns and uh, 86 movie studio series nice so nice and crap organic some pepper spray and crappy toilet paper scale well, all right, folks, back from transformation, and there they are in their bot modes. G1, Hinke, the Titan Returns, and 86 Movie Studio Series, or Studio Series, whatever you want to call it. Let's take a look at G1. G1's always up first. So here he is, holding his little Target Master, his little pew-pew gun. Now he's got some nice, uh, kind of a grayish paint right there for the head sculpt. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to hit the camera. And he got some nice baby blue eyes. You saw the front. That's the, you know, the hood, that sticker. So nothing for the head, really. You can't move it. I guess if you want to pop it out, you can look up if you want to, but not really supposed to. The, the arms, you can go back and forth. You got a butterfly, and you got a 90-degree elbow bend. Nice chrome, some rubber wheels, stickers. Actually, I actually have to say, these stickers look pretty good. No waist swivel, not much. Nothing for the legs. I guess if you want to make them shorter, you can collapse them if you want to. Now the toes do have a toe tilt down, just because of transformation. There you go. Not much to them. In the back, got a lot of gapage right there. In the back right there. So not bad. Not bad at all. There you go. Like I, say, like I always say with G1, you got to use your imagination. So there you go. There is articulation and sculpt work of G1 Hot Rod. All right, up next is going to be the classics, or Hinke. Like I said, the Japanese one. So there he is holding his weapon. I right, showed you the weapon. Once again, it does fire. That is nice. Projectile. I like that. I like that blue flame. You got the silver paint. Nicely done. So let's look at the head sculpt on him. It looks really good. Nice silver eye, uh, silver for the paint. I'm sorry, silver paint for the face. Nice um, um, uh, blue for the um, eyes and everything. It's got the light popping. Couldn't think of the word. Light popping. So nice blue light popping. And he's got some nice orange for the head crest and a little silver on the top as well. So nicely done on the head sculpt. It's really painted well. And right, moving on down. So this is the, the hood once again. Nicely done. Nice sticker. Silver paint right there. Does got some silver for the shoulders and everything. Now these can go up just about that range. Um, all the way around. You got them kind of maneuver around that little big backpack. Uh, 90 degrees for the elbow bend. And in and out for the hand. No swivel. Now he does have a little gimmick, which is really cool. I mean, you know, 
for this, you know, time of time, what, 2007, I think? He's got a little, um, if I can get it out, golly. Little, uh, the saw blade. So that comes out. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, and then he does got some big old forearms, you know, like that, but they didn't really have to put that in. I'm glad they did. It fills in that gap, but nice little, little saw blade and everything. That's cool. Uh, no way swivel. And like I said, oh, the head swivels like this, back and forth. Uh, and then that's about it for the arms or anything. Like no way swivel. He can do the van down, and he can do the kick up a little bit. Not much back because his uh, backpack gets in the way. Guess you can do the straddle thing like that if you want to as well. Uh, does have a no thigh swivel up there, but he has a knee swivel and a little under 90 degrees for the knee bend. He does have some big old thighs and calves, or not not thighs, big old calves. All this stuff right here. Now, toe tilt down. There's some red paint right there just because of the uh, tail lights. And that's it. No rocker. And then you got the little kickstand as well. And you got these little side flap thingies, whatever. So you can get out. Now, there is some silver paint and yellow paint right here. Silver paint right there on his uh, legs right there. So really good. And then you got that beautiful chrome, uh, golden chrome uh, spoiler right there. And then the back. Got some gap itch in there like that. But yeah, it's still good, you know, it's lacking in uh, articulation quite a bit, but um, overall, I've always liked this uh, sculpt of Hot Rod. I think it's a nice sculpt and everything. So there you go. And that is Hinke, or Classics, Hot Rod. Then up next is going to be Titan Returns. And once again, their gimmick was the Headmasters. And there he is holding both his guns like you can, and like I said, you can form it to be a mega sled gun. If you want to do that as well, you have that option. So once again, we've already seen the head sculpt, like from his uh, firebolt. Nicely done. Now you can go side to side. That's about it. Look, well, if you look down, it starts popping out. So really can't do that. All right, the '80s wor woman's working shoulders is uh, pretty big on him. Now you can go up to there, and you can move around all the way around. Uh, a little butterfly, not much. Got some nice gray paint right there. Uh, Nine degrees and a swivel right there as well. In and out for the hands, no swivel just because of transformation. Then you got the nice silver paint and everything for the hood. You got some nice gray paint in there as well. Now he does have a waist swivel, and that's pretty cool. And uh, the plastic, you know, that's not painted. It'd be cool if they would have painted that uh, silver or something. I uh, do the Van Dam kick up and then kick back. Thigh swivel up here for the ball joint and a cut right there. So nice. Um, Waffle House going on, but it's got some nice uh, some sculpt work in there as well to fill that in a little bit. Not bad. Um, 90 degrees for the knee bend. Toe tilt uh, up a little bit. Not much down. And no rocker. Silver paint right there as well. Then the back. Once again, some little gap itch right there. Yellow uh, paint is uh, spoiler. Looks good. You got the pops in the back. So, you know. Not terrible, but, you know, out of these four, probably the least favorite of mine. But there you go. That is Top Returns Hot Rod. And last but not least, definitely not least, this is the Studio Series Hot Rod. Now, I've already done a review on him, but I'm going to go over him again. He holds the weapons and this, his hands open. That's so cool. Beautiful head sculpt. Looks like Hot Rod. Nicely done. It's got the nice baby blue eyes, the gray paint right there. Silver for the head crest. Look down quite a bit. Look up a little bit. Look at that. I mean, he's got a little gimmick. Oh my goodness. He can flip down the shades. You know, start shooting at the deceptive creeps. So that's pretty cool. That is awesome. They did not have to do that. But that is awesome. They threw that in. Uh, look up a little bit, side to side, and a little attitude as well. Beautiful head sculpt. Once again, the chest got some nice paint right there for the flames and Autobot symbol. Silver paint right up here. Now, uh, my boy, I was watching uh, Hurricane BX and uh, Dust from uh, Rima Collectors. They was uh, doing straight out of the box with this guy and everything. And, you know, I have to agree with them. The, the shoulder, you know, the, this right here and going back and forth like that kind of feels weird. Like, it, you feel like you might want to break it or something like that. It ain't going to break, I don't think, but um, it's just weird. Just feels like softer plastic that's in here right there. I don't know. But that's really the only gripe I have to say about that. Now, he does have a little butterfly. You can go up to there. And then, like I said, this moving that around really just feels really tight. And it just doesn't feel right sometimes. We can go out there. Uh, 
more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. You got a swivel right there. You got a swivel for the hand, and they do open. That is sweet. Uh, paint right there for the exhaust for the pew pew pews. And let's see, waist swivel, nicely done. Van Dam, kick up, kick back. Not much very back. You can get a little bit, but not much. But I do love how the skirt goes with it. That's awesome. Thigh swivel, more than 90 degrees for the knee bend. Beautiful. Got that nice, uh, kind of a purplish kind of plastic right here for the legs. I love how the, everything collapses and fills in the gaps right there. Uh, toe tilt up. You got to do, you got a rocker, not much down. And then back here, got a little gapage right there, but not much. Nice, beautiful yellow uh, spoiler. It is huge. Could be a little smaller, but you know. But yeah, nicely done. Beautiful. Oh, paint right here for the forearms. Mm mm mm. What are you looking? Look like he's leaning. <laughs> Why are you leaning? Golly. Anyways, that is the Studio Series. Um, Hot rod. I'll figure out why he's leaning. I don't know why he's leaning, but there you go. That's articulation and scope work of the hot, Studio Series Hot Rod. And Crapagonic, some pepper spray and crappy toilet paper and squeaks for more scale. Guess what, folks? I took some pictures. Let's take a look. Yay! Yeah. All right, hope you enjoy those pictures. Let's talk about some hot rod, a little, just another versus thing. So, G1 hot rod. It's G1 hot rod. Can't say much about it like I always say about G1, and I say it all the time, use your imagination. I still like it, it's pretty cool. You know, if you like G1 and everything. This is the Target Master. I do have the original one, I just didn't have the guns out, so I just thought I'd use him. Just grabbed him off the shelf and everything, so pretty cool. That is G1 hot rod. Then we got the Hinke Classics or Chug, which we're going to call them. This is the Hinke version. Still like this mold, you know, for being almost like 13, 13 years old, I think. Around this thing came out around 2007-ish around that area. So, I mean, I still like the mold. Um, you know, it is lacking in articulation. It's got some big old shoulder pads, you know, the 80s, 80s working woman shoulder pads. Um, just like I said, but I like, you know, this one's beautiful. It's got the nice chromed out uh, spoiler and everything. Nice paint and everything. It's got better paint than what the original, you know, the classic one because they did better paint jobs over there and everything. But I still like the mold and everything. It's really nice. just lacking articulation. I love the weapon with the nice blast effect. That is cool. And it shoots out, you know, so watch your eye. You know, you might shoot your eye out. But yeah, it's still a great mold. Um, I still, uh, one of my favorites and everything. So there you go. That is the Hinke. And he does have some good paint on him as well, like I said. Then we got the Titan Returns. Now, Titan Returns is not terrible. You know, it's not the best. Kind of, like I said, he just kind of looks like the old, like the Clint Eastwood of the Hot Rods. He just looks older than all of them and everything. But it's not a terrible mode. I like the Titan Returns overall. I think it, I thought it was a pretty good um, line and everything. Um, this one's fine. You know, just kind of, you know, the articulation is pretty decent. He does have the 80s working woman uh, shoulder pads as well. You know, he's got the Headmaster gimmick and everything. Articulation, like I said, decent. Pain is, you know, it's decent, I guess. Not a lot. Um, it didn't, you know, paint the wheel, wheels or anything or the rims like that. But, you know, just overall, you know, like, I don't, you know, it doesn't even hold a candle to any of these. Uh, well, especially that one. Uh, it, you know, it might could do the G1 because it has better articulation or anything. But overall, it's just fine. You know, the time return one's just fine. Everything. I just, like I said, it just looks like the older, older brother of the Hot Rods. Now moving on to Studio Series. My God. This guy got Scourge. He came out it was really nice. Man, uh, Cyclonus is beautiful. One of my favorite ones coming out of the Kingdom. And Galvatron. I can't wait for Galvatron. And there's rumor that he's going to be, I kind of hope this is not true, but they're going to retool him to be Romulus Prime to be the Commander class for the uh, Kingdom. I don't want that. 
I want. I, mean, I would love to have a Romulus Prime. I hope they do do one in the Studio Series. But I want Kingdom to have like a Beast Wars uh, Commander class, you know, and everything. But uh, that's the rumor. Don't know for sure. You know, just take it for a grain of salt. But this guy, wonderful. Only issues I have are the shoulders. Like they're kind of wonky. They're really tight and like feels like they might break or something. But might have not broken. I don't think they will. But man, the paint, articulation, the car mode, the transformation is fun. Uh, all the gimmicks, you know, with the matrix and everything. And you got the little saw blade as well and the blast effects. And you got the little uh, sunglasses to come down, the visor. That is awesome. That is so cool. Paint on the weapons. I mean, it's just overall just a great, fun figure. And I hope they do a lot of uh, more of the Studio Series for 86 movie and everything. That will be cool. So I highly recommend this guy. He is the $30, and but I, he is totally worth it. I, I mean, he is so freaking awesome. I, love I mean, I, I recommend all these. You know, if you want to get the Titan Returns one, if you want to have an old man hot rod, I still get him. I definitely would get the G1, and I definitely would pick up one of these. There's like 17 of these made. I have like 10 of them, I think. But yeah, I, all, all four of them are good molds. The last one I'll probably pick up would be Titan Returns. But first one would be definitely that Studio Series. He's awesome. All right. Well, that was my Just Another Versus thing, Evolution, uh, Comparison, whatever you want to call it. I just have a great, I just have a great time doing these. I think I'm going to do Scourge next. Um, I got some, uh, quite a few of him, you know, G1, uh, Chug for him, and uh, Time Returns, and I'll do uh, the uh, Scourge Studio Series. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Really have fun. Hope you liked it. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Go check out my Instagram. Like I said, I just hit over 2,000 uh, followers. Thank you so much. I like taking pictures and everything. I hope you like the pictures. And um, yeah, hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the little uh, versus thing. Which one do you like the best? And I guess I'll see you on the next versus, just another versus thing. As always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks.